year and one of the factors uh, to consider when we're looking at how, how things have slowed down on the Kenyan markets in terms of activity. But some adding that we're now looking at a bourse that is oversold and trying to base out at current levels. What's your view on the markets right now? Well, uh, the market uh, overheated, especially in the third quarter as uh, most, uh, most of the financial counters were releasing their results. But at the same time, uh, the market recovered for the better part of this year. So uh, there was a, a, a bullish trend where most, uh, most counters were going up. Then uh, correction, of course, had to take place. So uh, you find that currently most counters are marginally uh, discounted thereby en enhancing interest uh, in the stock market. Well, while news flow has really quietened down with more of a focus on the macro picture, we had BOC gases uh, yesterday making headlines out with a profit warning for the year ending December the 31st. Market reaction to that announcement? Well, uh, um, the, the negative sentiments, of course, then uh, have a negative impact on the stock price. But at the same time, it's not been very easy for all sectors of the economy in terms of uh, turnaround. Oh, just coming from a recession, and uh, uh, there are certain sectors which, of course, Will, be, will gain momentum faster than others, hence uh, BOC. And BOC is not the only one that has given profit warnings. There are also other companies that have done the same. Well, we've seen this company specifically undergo a restructuring process and the drop in profits largely being attributed to this kind of change that's being implemented at the company. Take us through the kind of restructuring we're seeing here and how convinced the market is that this is a strategy that will work in terms of outlook moving forward. Well, you know, for investors, really, what they look for is uh, stability and being able, I mean, being confident about a company's uh, growth prospects and, uh, and so on and so forth. But uh, w once there's restructuring and uh, new, new, um, new people come in to steer the company moving forward, you find that uh, most investors are normally apprehensive about the, about the company because they still want to see the guy settle down, the new management team settle down and chart the way forward. But uh, also, uh, I mean, uh, BOC uh, stayed out of the market for quite some time uh, when the, uh, the merger between BOC and Carbas had failed. So uh, most, uh, you find that currently the, uh, the shareholders who have been there previously are the ones who are currently maintaining uh, the stock price. Would you be a buyer in BOC gases right now where, uh, you know, where's the investment merit if you see any in BOC? At the moment, no, uh, because uh, like I said that in a recovering uh, yeah. uh, economy, certain sectors, of course, tend to do better than others. Now, for uh, companies like BOC, uh, I'm thinking that uh, until until they they come out clear in terms of their strategy going forward, in terms of driving shareholder value, at that point is when uh, you'd consider an entry. Well, that part of the reason why we're seeing foreign investors going for the obvious Safaricom, East African breweries amongst them, but a lot of uh, retail investors, uh, interest uh, from retail investors on the lowly priced shares specifically. Any stocks standing out uh, for you at the moment that's screaming? buying opportunity? Well, uh, uh, you see, uh, like I've said, that um, investors will mainly fo focus on um, uh, uh, companies that are, 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 are successful in terms of their strategy within the industries that they operate. I mean, Safaricom has been facing price wars, but at the same time, in terms of market share, in terms of uh, 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 innovation, in terms of product offering, it still beats its competitors. EABL uh, has, tr uh, has strong fundamentals, has uh, the acquisition in uh, Tanzania has encouraged a lot of interest in that counter. And uh, of course you see that uh, there's, there's value, there's actual, these are value stocks for which uh, uh, share, I mean, uh, investors are keen on uh, getting in because of the high upside potential. And uh, of course, there are also certain uh, low, uh, I mean, counters with minimal activities, like there are certain uh, 
uh, agricultural stocks that of course are not in the limelight but because of their uh, impressive performance uh, in the recent quarters they are also gaining some uh, momentum. Well, uh, we've been talking about uh, recent weeks, counters that have posted phenomenal gains and have started cooling off the likes of uh, Scan Group, uh, East African breweries as well. We've got a player like Access Kenya, though, having posted a loss of 20.6% uh, uh, this year so far. And it sits just above its uh, one-year low point, or, uh, 2010 low point, rather, of uh, 15 shillings of 50. Any interest from your side in picking up stock on Access Kenya? Not at the moment because, uh, uh, like I said, mo investors look at uh, stability. They want to be confident in a stock. Access Kenya has been suffering uh, uh, boardroom wars, has been suffering. Uh, don't, the, the, the fact that they don't come out clear in their strategy going forward in, in terms of how they want to beat their competitors, in terms of how they want to, to increase profitability, in terms of uh, also how they want to uh, engage uh, uh, new products into the market. So um, until that settles down, uh, that's why you're seeing the numbers are the way they are. But uh, it's just the lack of confidence in the stock that is uh, making it uh, behave that way.